So this weekend, I went to an event. This past weekend, I went to an event and, you know, we sat at a table and somebody was asking, you know, what does everybody do? And when it got to my turn, I said, well, I write for a living. And that was such an interesting conversation because the moment I said that people's eyes kind of like perked up and were like, wow, you write for a living? What does that mean? And um, it was there that I realized that most of the time when you talk about writing for a living, people think that maybe you're a book author or, you know, they think of this kind of like ethereal thing. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here today to talk about how I personally write for a living. Hey there bosses, you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. On this channel we talk about freelance business and specifically writing and how you can use that to create more freedom and family time if that sounds like a cup of tea go ahead and hit the subscribe button so like I said in today's video we're going to be talking about how or I will be talking about how I make a living as a writer and most of the time when people think about when, when you say you make a living as a writer a lot of people assume that maybe you write books but the thing is that there's so much out there that I mean when it comes to writing there's so much diversity in the types of writers that exist that you could really be making an, a living as any kind of writer of course you could do be doing a combination of a lot of things you could be doing one specific type of writing but personally the way that I make a living writing is by doing freelance blog writing and what is that that is you know I work with small businesses I work with other bloggers and I write blog posts for them and so they assign me topics some of the people will um, you know just allow me to choose topics I want to write on as long as they fit a particular bill or fit a particular niche and I just go ahead and write that content for them and with every client it's going to be different as to what they want as to how many words they want as to how many you know how many paragraphs what style they want it in how many links that should be there and so it's important for you to pay if you decide to do freelance blog writing to understand what the needs of the client are and once you understand that and consistently produce work that makes them happy you can be assured of getting more and more work of course if you want to make your living as a writer you're not confined to doing freelance blog writing the reason why i personally kind of like got um into that niche or got into freelance blog writing specifically was because i was already a blogger i knew how to write blog posts that drove traffic and so selling myself as that was super easy for me to do um if you've never blogged before it doesn't matter you read a lot of blog posts like and when you uh, you know so you know how that format goes and when you forget your first client you always will just have to talk to them and find out you know what do you what do you want this to look like what do you want your blog post to look like and if you follow those instructions you should become successful now of course there are other ways for you to make a living from your writing and actually something that I'm beginning to get into novel writing right that is another big place where you can make an, a living as a writer and in doing that you can either go the traditionally published route or you can self publish thankfully these days we have so many platforms that allow us to self publish our own books the one thing about self publishing that I personally find find is that the if you have an already um, established audience even if it, it doesn't have to be a huge audience right if even if you have an audience that follows your blog that follows your Instagram that follows your YouTube that is better than not having any audience at all in launching your books although I have heard and seen people who have completely launched their books you know at the gate no audience and have grown from there so that's another way you can make a living as a writer you can make a living as a copywriter you could be making and as with, uh, with copywriting you could be writing emails you, be, you could be writing sales pages you could be doing copy for magazines you could be doing e-commerce writing and I talk about um, you know different niches I think 
three of the top niches that I believe that you can make a lot of money in. I talk about it in this video up here that I've linked. Go ahead and watch that video. Um, and there are just so many ways. But for me personally, freelance blog writing is how I make my living as a writer. I have done a lot of product descriptions as well. I'm currently getting into book writing and novel writing and that is also going to be another way I make an income as a living. So if you thought about making an income as a living and you were not really sure where to get started all I have to say is just get started you know you just never know what's gonna work you never know what's going to like fly off the shelf so go ahead and just get started and you could start with something as simple as writing your own blog or something as simple as writing a short story and putting it up on Amazon it just starts with one and then it snowballs from there so making a living as a writer is possible in 2018 you just have to make a start all right bosses I hope this was helpful if you watched this and you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button